hey guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to script on Roblox Studio so to create a new project or a new game go to new over here uh, and click on whatever game you like so you can see a bunch of games here I'll do base plate for this tutorial So you can see I'm in. If you look on the right here, like my screen, then you be, might be wondering why I have these tabs open or how did I open it. So to open these tabs, just simply go to View at the top and click Explorer Properties and Output. So let me explain. Output is where uh, you can see your errors in your scripts. Properties where you can change like how stuff look like I guess. And in Explorer you will have service. I'm not going to go through all of them in this tutorial I'm going to go through the basics only and by the way you can move these tab rounds by just simply click and hold on the top of these tabs and just move in round like this yeah, as you can see I'm moving it around I can put here but I feel comfortable with it's put in here so what is workspace workspace is a service so you um everything you're seeing right now it's in workspace so if you uh, click on this arrow right here and you can see that there's a base plate so base plate is a huge platform right here So everything in your game will be shown under workspace. So okay, let's create a part. To create a part, you can do it by simply go to um, home and then click part. You can change the shape of the part by click on the arrow down the part um, and then there's a bunch of options here there's another way that you just click on model and there's a part here um, so the third way to create the part is that you go to workspace you click on the arrow here And then you search part, which is already up here. Yeah, that's how you create a part. So if you click on the part here, you under the properties, you'll see there's a bunch of properties here. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through basics. So brick color is how you can change the brick color. I mean the color of the brick. You can change the color with the color of the brick with brick color or color. So yeah, like this. You can change the brick color like that. Um material is how your part look like. So like it's currently now plastic it has this weird thingy here so if you click on it and change it to a smooth plastic basically it's the same material but it's smooth it doesn't has the weird thingy so it looks cool but my favorite material is neon which is the glowy thing um, neon 
Yeah, it looks very cool. So, reflectance is how your part is reflected with the game. Like, if you, uh, in, if your material is currently smooth plastic, uh, and then if you change the reflectance to uh, 1, then you see the color just change basically the color isn't change at all just it's the color of the sky and it, it's reflecting it it's reflecting the sky so it looks like that um transparency is how visible your part is all properties in roblox one is the maximum so if you um change it to one then you'll see that the part right now is currently invisible because the transparency is now one oops so if i change it to 0 0.5 or instead of writing zero you can also write only point five, it will still count the zero there. So you can see that it's a little bit invisible. So name you can is where you can change the name of it, of this part. So I'll give it a name. I'll name it testing part. Oops. Oopsie. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you accidentally delete it like me, so to undo whatever changes you made to your game, to undo that, you can simply go to top here, next to file, and click on this arrow. This is undo, and this is redo. To undo, you press Ctrl Z. And to redo, you can press Control Shift Z. Okay, so Control Z to redo. Un I mean undo. Let me change the part name here. Oh, and by the way, there's actually a another way of changing the part's name. If you go to workspace and click on the part that you want to change it, change the name, click on it, and then click on it another time, and you can change its name. Testing. I'll name it testing point. Um. So, I click on the part, and under the properties, and go to orientation. Uh, if I click on the arrow, arrow here, then it will have this X Y Z thing. So you might be wondering what are those? These X Y Z are axes. So, if I would click on the rotate tool up here in the model tab or in home, uh, and then I select rotate, you can see that this pop up. So, you can rotate it by holding this ball thingy here. So, like that. And you can see that it's changing right now. So you can see that if I rotate, then it will change here, change the number. Uh, and if I want um, free rotation, then I can head over to the model tab. And you can see here the rotate. If you change the number to zero, 
or um, click on the box here then you will have free rotation so again see I have free rotation uh, 360 degrees and yeah so X axis is uh, move forward and backward Z axis is left and right and Y axis is up and down and um, by the way I forgot you can move a part with the move tool in model tab or in home or you can change it in properties or with a script you can uh, change the orientation with a script as well so so uh, rod velocity and velocity you don't have to worry about it I'm not going to go through them because in this video I'm going to go through only basics so let's skip that and you see anchored so it's currently unchecked uh, what is anchored? anchored is mean if it's checked then uh, when you run the game it won't fall off so if I move it up like that and there's actually three type of tests in the game run is uh, run your game without spawning in play here is you will spawn at where your camera is looking at and play is the regular play so if you run the game and um, you will see the stop button will turn red and you can see that the part falls down because it's not anchored so let me stop the game but if I anchor it then look And as you can see, the part won't fall down. So yeah, that what anchor does. And by the way, you can play your game like regular play, and stop your game by doing F5 to play and Shift and F5 to stop. So yeah, um. Um, I'll skip this setting. Can collide is if can collide is off, then uh, your part will like uh, will go through everything. So like if I uncheck anchor and uncheck can collide and run the game. then you will see that the part just fall off and went through the base plate not because that uh, can collide is off but if can collide was on then it won't fall off it will like fall down here and just be there Next setting, I'll skip through this. Shape is you can change it shape how it looks like. Size is how you can scale it. Uh, you can scale it by using the move tool, which is in home or model tab. Uh, so, uh, and by the way, you can have quick access to this tool by pressing control and one or command one if you're on Mac 
um, control one, move tool, I mean select tool, control two, move tool, control three, scale tool, and control four, rotate tool. Uh, so let me hop over to the oopsie. Let me hop over to the scale tool, control three, and you can scale them in different axes so or you can change them here and yeah so surface you don't have to worry about surface input surface is the part faces so you can see bottom surface front surface left surface right surface and top surface they are all faces um so um to uh let's see that if i want to move the part but if i move to the ground it'll go through it it's good but i don't want it so how can I uh, can collide it with the spacebar? So you can do that by go to model or home tab, click uh, concolation right here, and it will no longer go through the best bit. Oh, and by the way, you can anchor, change color and material on the top here in the home or model so a group is like when you have two parts selected um, and by the way to duplicate a part you press ctrl and d it will duplicate uh, that part so if you uh, select two of these parts which is you can do that by holding control or command if you're on Mac and pr press left mouse button like that you will select more than one part and if you right click on them and then you make and you hit group and there's the shortcut here or control Z then you will group them together so that there are in there are now the children of a model so children is like a children is a, is the child of a of the parent so like this part here are all the children of this model here which is the model is the parent so if I move the model then the both part will move as well so yeah that's how you can like move such a such as like uh, lots of part and you can group them all I'll delete that and to copy or cut you can go here and just duplicate to the shortcut for cut is control X and for paste is control V copy is control C or you can click them here so that's it for this video if you like this video please leave a like if you don't then leave a dislike or if you want to see more upcoming tutorials then subscribe leave comments down below and see you in the next tutorial